Hi Scorpio, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up. The intention of this reading, your general monthly reading for October 15th through November 15th, is to pick on what's going on for the sign of Scorpio, whether that's your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign. Um, and it's so that we can figure out, you know, based on what's going on, what are the best choices in our life to bring us to our most happy um, state of being and um, you know, what is just best for us. So you can choose, because it's a general reading, what resonates for you and stick with that. Or um, if some things don't seem to click, go ahead and watch your moon sign or your rising sign. If you don't know um, which areas those are going to click better in, there's a video in the helpful tools playlist um, about that. Or another thing you can do is, you know, sometimes when it's a whole month long, Things aren't going to click right away, but then a week or two later, they will. It'll totally make sense because those things hadn't happened yet. Um, but maybe I'm just not the reader for you, and that's okay. There's tons of really great tarot readers on YouTube, but if I am, please like the videos and subscribe to them so that you can um, be alerted when the new ones come out. And um, next up will be love in a couple of weeks. But today's reading will cover um, our career, health, money, jobs, friendships, our home life, and then our love life for singled and um, coupled Scorpios. So um, thank you so much for watching and we'll just go ahead and get started. So today I'm doing it a little bit different than that. I'm starting off with a um, general theme for you. So what is our general theme for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising October 15th through November 15th? This is a hard one to start with. Denial. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So the, the tricky thing is not pretending like we are so brave, you know, that, um, that we really believe in ourselves and things like that. Sometimes our fears inhibit us from making our best choices. So this reading might be very, partic like in particular, helpful to some of you Scorpios who are doing that, who are... Um, you know, trying to make affirmations, trying to use the law of attraction to attract wonderful things into our life, and then not seeing results because deep inside our fears are um, kind of canceling out those wishes and that communication with the universe, okay? <clears throat> so we need to really look at that, examine what our fears are, and then um, try to eliminate those. Now, how do we do that? There... <laughs> Okay, just accepting things the way that they are. With the Seven of Swords here, it's like, you know, we just have to say, these are the things that I can change. These are the things I cannot. And then make the changes, be brave, use our cognition, our mental brain, more so than our heart this month, in order to do what is right and what is best for us. And sometimes that means leaving things that we care about um, in the past, leaving them behind us. It doesn't always mean that. But um, it's just doing the best with what we have, okay? Now, um, you can see that the goat here, he's stubborn. <laughs> he's on top of a rock. And um, thank you, by the way, to my friend who gave me this tarot deck. Um, when somebody gifts you a deck, you must use it. Um, and, and these two animals here, they have something to say. They don't necessarily agree, but he knows what makes him stable, what makes him sturdy, okay? So um, you have to really believe in yourself and kind of banish that fear that you have. Okay, so let's get started with the different elements of our reading. We're starting with our family, and this could be your close family. This could be people that you consider to be family, your very close inner circle, what do we have for October 15th through November 15th for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising? The Chariot. Oh, this is so wonderful. So um, your friendships could be deepening. They could be going to the next level. You could be doing really fun, wonderful things with your um, family. Sorry, I said friendships. But you know, like oftentimes our family are our friends. We have cousins who are friends. Um, my sibling, my sister, is my best friend in the whole world. Um, but with this card... You know, it's it's using our family as um, how do, what's the word to give us enthusiasm and motivation and inspiration to go after our dreams. Like they will encourage us. Okay, now what's going on in our home lives? And this could be your actual physical home 
or it could also be um, just like the environment within your home and the people inside of it. The Eight of Wands. So things are going to um, change very quickly. You see how this deer and this bird are just taken off. They're just whoosh. So those sort of that sort of an energy where things just boom change overnight. So it doesn't mean it is going to happen today, but at some point throughout this um, month, October fifteenth through November fifteenth, all of a sudden when things change, it's like boom, they just go flying off in a in a, in a direction towards really wonderful things where there's a lot of growth there. So if it is, um, sorry about that glare. Is that better? So if it's in, maybe not, <laughs> there we go. So if it's in regards to <clears throat> like home renovation projects, home decorating, things like that, it's like all of a sudden you just find the piece that completes your living room or something like that. Um, or you come into some money and you can just renovate everything that you wanted to. But, um, or maybe it's big changes where your whole home is going to move. Maybe you just move somewhere. Maybe um, you buy a new home and it happens really quickly. Something along those lines. It, you have a lot of movement so far, just in these first two categories of our reading. Um, and for those of you who are not experiencing the movement, if you watch this like halfway through, like around Halloween or something like that, um, maybe your fear is the reason why. And you have to release that and let go of it because if you can't control outcomes of things, what's the point in being all stressed and worried about it, right? That's kind of where I'm going with that. Now, what's going on in your friendships this month? Two things. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So... Um, you may be, just like we were talking about, worried about things that you can't control. You might have a tremendous amount of anxiety this month to the point where you can't sleep, and that's fear-based. So you have to let go of that. Um, there is maybe like an inability or a fear in um, confiding in others and trusting in other people. You don't always think that your friends are actually going to be there for you to help you out when you need them. You don't trust them. You don't trust them um, to follow through, okay? Or maybe you feel guilty taking um, offers of help from them. Now, is that the best way to live our lives this month? Well, the reason why you might be doing that way, doing it that way is because it makes you feel better about yourself, to be self-reliant, to worry about yourself, right, and taking care of yourself. Um, but is that wise? You know, that's what's coming into question here with that owl there. Is that wise? Um, you know, your world is not just you. <laughs> it's the people that surround you, okay? And um, so specifically, if you have a water sign or a Gemini that is um, offering to be of assistance or to be a really good friend for you this month, I think you need to trust them, okay? Um, because it will deepen your bond. It will um, create a feeling of mutual trust and just that everything in your life is kind of headed in the right direction. We have a lot of cards indicating that this is a time period of transition where things um, may have been rocky in the past, um, just in multiple areas of your life, a lot of changes, but now they're headed towards... Um, all those things happen for a reason, though, even if they were painful, whether they were difficult or if they were easy. Now you're headed like kind of full steam ahead towards things that are better for you, um, but you want to take your friends along with you, okay? So I would um, not take advantage of them, but I would definitely utilize my friends when they are there to offer you help, and then you just offer it back, you know, to create that balance. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. And um, this is, it, it just clears the way for you to, do you see this here? Do you see how he's been working really, really hard to clear his way through the bushes, right? And it's taken a super long time, right? But he's, he's making his path and he's getting through there. And there's a lot of blue here, which is about communication, Okay. So um, he's communicating with his friends and he's 
clearing the path to like step through a new tomorrow, a better life. But, um, you know, he's kind of, he's kind of serving as an inspiration to other people. Other people can walk down his path too, right? So it's okay to use, to use your friends, to take advantage of the help that they offer, to help you out because you're helping them out by setting examples. I don't know if that really makes good sense to you. I hope it does. Um, so what's going on in regards to your health? Whoa, got cards flying all over the place here. Quite too many, so I'm going to ask again. Okay, here we go. The Fool. <laughs> so you know that you need to make healthier, um, that you need to be healthier in many ways. You know that changes have to be made in regards to your health. You're just not sure what that looks like. Okay, as you can see, the fool here, he has no face, he has no belly, okay? He doesn't, he doesn't have a clear view or a clear picture of what those changes are, but he's optimistic and he's believing in himself and he's like motivated, he's amped up to start making changes, to start taking care of himself and achieving his goals. Now he can have whatever it is that he wants. The Nine of Cups is the wish card. And, you know, that cat wanted that bird. It got it. It devoured it. So um, so whatever changes that you make, like you don't have to have a specific goal in mind. Just knowing that you want to make a change and starting to play around with those and trusting that you're going to find what's best for you means that you will. One second. Sorry. Yeah. What's up? I'm kind of good on carpet. Oh, my goodness. Okay, take your socks off. It is through the water bit. Okay, that was kind of naughty. I'm sorry. I, okay. I think I Thank you. I forgive you. Please try to clean it up. I try. Okay, try again. Try harder. All right, sorry. Um, what's going on in regards to your work life this month, October 15th through November 15th? We've got the five of wands. Okay, so at work, there might be people that you work with that um, you might be bickering with, disagreeing with, they might be getting under your skin, you might be getting under theirs, and it's better if you can kind of avoid the argument, even though you might be right, even though you're probably right. Your way of doing something is probably smarter and better than theirs. Um, at the end of the day, you both want the same thing, you both have the same end result, the same common goal, so maybe just go with their way this month, this time, and just let them see their own mistakes and then later say, whether they say it externally to you, whether they say it verbally, or whether they just think it to themselves, gosh, you know what? That's a better person than me. Like, I should have listened. I should have been um, more amenable to trying it their way because that was probably smarter. But the main goal is that you need to focus on the fact that you do want the same thing you have the same common goals. It's just that you have different ideas on how to get there. Now we have a number message, and um, I just want to let you know what that is. It says that the Ascended Masters, who are you know Jesus, Moses, Buddha, are helping you to maintain a positive outlook. And so um, specifically female Ascended Masters are there um, and surrounding you. So whenever you start to feel negative, just remember that and call on them. And you could just call on your angels and say, hey, I really need some help in staying positive in regards to my work life because these bitches are driving me crazy. <laughs> it could definitely be a month where you're super frustrated. What else in regards to work? Two of Cups. Okay, so this is a really great omen if you are um, in business with somebody else, if you have a business partner, if you're looking for a business partner, you could definitely meet that person. Now, another way this could be read would be that you might meet your soulmate through work. They could be a client. Um, it could be somebody that you work with. Um, it could be work romance, that sort of a thing. So that's something to be on the lookout for this month. Now, if it is about workplace romance, is it a good idea? Um, it says, you know what, focus on the positives of it instead of the negatives of it. So yeah, and especially because that's typically known as the soulmate card, I would say absolutely, absolutely. Now, it could be a little bit dangerous, and maybe that's where some of those work disagreements are coming in. 
right? <laughs> but is it? Yeah. Oh, cute. This one just jumped right out the fool saying you don't know where it's going to go. You don't know how it's going to go, but you should just have blind faith and optimism that if it feels right, it is right. Cute. That's exciting for some of you. Okay. What's going on with your money? Holding on to it, saving it. Um, like, and maybe this is part of that whole overarching theme of your fear, right? Fear that if you spend it, you, it won't replenish itself, right? That it's just gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. You know, maybe not paying your whole credit card off, just the minimum payment because you're afraid. Like, oh man, I might need that. Um, but it's saying, as far as money's concerned, your luck is about to change. And um, it looks like it could be changing um, from a place... You know, what's that thing about from the ashes rises the phoenix or something? So, like, when things are really, really shit, <laughs> all of a sudden, like, things can change and they can turn around really quickly. We have a lot of cards here indicating changes and indicating changes for the better and them happening quickly, okay? Now, this card is not any different. We also have, um, again, water signs here, specifically Geminis as well, and then Leos. Um, that could be helpful in regards to your money or your work. Um, but this could also indicate uh, partnerships. Like maybe you would have the added benefit of somebody else's income offsetting your rent or your mortgage if they move in with you or you move in with them. That sort of a thing is also a possibility this month. What's going on for you if you are a single Scorpio? Sun, moon, or rising for October 15th through November 15th, King of Pentacles. So this could be taken a couple different ways. You could come into a place where you're just totally focused on work, creating your own stability so that your life is sort of set up for the right person to walk through the door. Or you could meet someone who is already like that, right? Like they're really work focused. They've got their stuff together. They have a job, health insurance, like... Their whole life is pretty much set as far as work stuff goes. They're career focused, career minded. They've been on their path for a while. And so they're ready now to welcome love into their life where they could put in um, the kind of attention to a love relationship that you would be needing. Because I don't want to say that Scorpios are particularly needed or needy in regards to love, but we are deep feelers, right? Okay. The moon. So this is a very interesting card. This is about following your gut instincts despite what other people say. Okay, so you meet somebody, right? And you're like, gosh, I really like this person. I don't know why, but I'm just like really into them. I feel like this is a good fit. And then other people are like, um, I don't think so. That person seems like a womanizer. That person seems a little racist. That person seems a little bit irresponsible. Whatever, whatever, whatever. If it feels right for you, go ahead and try it. It's your gut is going to tell you, you know, it's going to lead you. What else for single Scorpios? Nine of Pentacles. Totally pampering yourself, taking care of yourself, loving yourself first um, so that other people can give you that same kind of love, right? If you spoil yourself, if you love yourself first and foremost, then somebody else is going to come into your life that will treat you the same way that you would treat yourself. They will spoil you. They will love you hard, okay? So that's really, really important. So, you know, this month, if you wanted to splurge on, um, you know, a, a pedicure, on massages, on that sort of a thing, it's totally a good month for that. It's totally a good month for that. Really, really, really. Um, and it says, you know, like you might feel like, especially with that Four of Pentacles card we had before about being afraid to spend money because it doesn't automatically replenish, or at least that's your fear. It's saying it's, it's a wise investment. You are something wise to invest in. It's okay to invest in yourself. And so that could even be like um, about education, like learning a new skill. Okay. What's going on for couples, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising? King of Swords. Really, really good communication and honesty. Things brought to the table within your coupled relationship, just like thrown out there and worked through. What else? And that brings a balance to the scales. That brings you to a place where everything can work out fairly. Like if you were having 
If you are feeling like maybe you were betrayed or lied to by your partner before and like you weren't being treated fairly, this is when that changes, this month. Everybody just says what they feel, they say what they mean, what they're thinking, where they stand, and then we can come to a place where we can compromise on things, right? Where um, it's not so much tit for tat anymore. You did this, you did this, I feel this way, blah, 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 okay? That gets all worked out. Oh, and it brings you even closer having actually taken the time to discuss this. So really... Um, there may One or both of you may have been not wanting to talk about certain issues that needed to be talked about, but you'll be so thankful that you did because this is like deeper love bonding connection. It's coming together. It's coming back together if you've been apart for a little while. This is like deep devotion and commitment. And you know, for some of you, maybe your relationship has been hidden. Okay, perhaps your family didn't approve of it or their family didn't approve of it. This is just saying it is what it is. We want to be together. Um, doesn't matter what you think, what you want for us, because ultimately only we know how we feel about each other and that we're good for each other. And, you know, that strengthens your bond. That's a very specific message for maybe a couple of you or one of you. Um, what else for couples? You might have some travel actually coming. And if you are going on um, a trip and you do not want to get pregnant, you want to be extra cautious, um, it's very, very possible that you could um, become pregnant on this trip. It is also possible, too, that you just hear good news about other people, about other people's pregnancies, things like that. It doesn't necessarily indicate travel. Um, it could just be about things paying off for you, investments that you've made, and that could be investments um, that you've made as a couple, or it could be an investment that you've made in your partner or in yourself, um, and it pays off within the context of your relationship. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like a personal reading, I am always more than happy to do those for you. My contact information is below in the description box. Before I end this here, I just saw two more number messages. Um, and so it says that the angels can already see positive results of the prayers and the wishes and the um, affirmations that you've made. And so they just really are asking you to be patient. Well, they work behind the scenes to kind of you know, set everything in motion. And that's kind of what I was talking about earlier in the reading when we said, you know, when things change, it's like, boom, overnight, things just take off in the right direction. And so it's saying, you know, please, please, please keep the faith with what you're doing. And then the other message here for you is just to really stay positive because with the law of attraction, our thoughts are constantly manifesting. And um, you need to focus really on the good within yourself and with, uh, in other people, and kind of avoid even thinking about the negative. Just keep everything optimistic and positive so that more blessings come to your life at a faster pace. Now, um, the last thing that I wanted to say is, what? What was it? Oh, so in about a month, I am going to let you know about this really cool project that we're going to be doing, and um, it could make you famous. It's super exciting. So if you want to be involved in that, make sure that you don't miss next month's videos, because um, I'll tell you all about it then and how you can get involved, and see you in a couple weeks for love readings. Bye.